Batman. No, I'm not. I'm your table tennis coach, Eddie. And today I'm going to show you how to use your forehand technique. It's a very common technique, one of the two most common shots you can do. One of them is forehand, and the other one is backhand. But in, the, in this forehand video, I'm going to show you how to do it, how to train it, show you the fundamentals of it, and give you a very, very cryptic description on everything you must know on the forehand to perform it at your best. But before we get going, let me show you how to hold the racket. So, I'm a right hand player, I'm going to show you how to use your racket holding your right hand. I'll show you all different methods, different angles, different hands, but let's start with the right hand. There's two types of techniques, there's the Asian style and there's the European style. The European style is to shake your hand. So right now I'm shaking hand with a player, I will input my racket then right here. I will use these three fingers here, and just wrap the blade around it, there we go. Put the thumb on the logo and put the index finger as straight as possible. Trying to keep it like that, as straight as possible, okay? Instead of like doing like that. That will straight away open a gap. You don't want to do that. You want to let the racket become part of your arm and keep it right here. Now the left hand, it's exactly the same. Shake a hand, in, put it in, close it with three fingers, wrap it around. There's your technique, okay? Thumb goes on the logo and this finger goes straight again, like that. Okay, I'm not, I'm not laughing at it, so it's a bit more awkward for me to show you guys. Now the Asian style, the Asian style is the pen hold style, we call it the pen hold, like writing with a pen. You drop it down, like writing a pen, so imagine you're writing a pen, da -da 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 -da. there's your pen writing. You stick it in as well, you wrap it around with two fingers, see that right there? That's how you hold it in the forehand area. Now these three fingers is where it gets very debatable. Some players like to keep it like that, some players like to tuck it in like that because more space for the backhand. So, it depends what you find more comfortable. I kind of like in between. I like to keep it very close to me right here. I, I know how to play pen hold. Once you learn how to play shake hand, pen hold is a bit easier to master, especially in the forehands. It's the same thing if you hold it left-handed. You tuck it in, see, these two fingers are right here. Very simply, you're mostly gripping on these two fingers here. So you're holding it. These three fingers is for balance, but you're gripping around here. In a shake hand, you're gripping more around the three, these three fingers than the first two up, up front. That's the difference, it's the opposite side. But anyway, this is your shake hand grip. At your best abilities, before we move on, pause the video and go have a quick warm up if you can. I strongly suggest you should play the shake hand grip, left handed or right handed. It's the way I play and you can follow me step by step a lot easier. It makes your training a lot more efficient.